Gaming can put a hole in your wallet. And even with seasonal Steam sales, it never feels like there's enough money in the world to try out all the games we want. If you want to play something new without spending a penny, here are 10 of the best free games you can play on Steam. Welcome back to the Gaming Daily Input. Lay back and enjoy this video on the top 10 free Steam games. Number 1. Brolala. Brolala incorporates powerful weapons and gadget drops that change your playstyle according to the specific item. One minute you'll be fighting the grenades, then the next you'll be riding a rocket spear into someone's face. Play locally with friends, fight in chaotic free-for-all matches online and offline, team up for two versus two battles, or climb the rank ladder to platinum and beyond. There's a little something for everyone. The roster of 46 legends can be bought with earnable in-game currency in addition to real money, but there are always eight legends available for free every week in rotation. Aside from the cute art and animations, every legend has different stats that help them to make them feel unique. For example, Legend Fate has increased speed and strength, but lower dexterity and defense. Rowala will keep you coming back once you get your first taste of victory. Number 2. Dota 2 Dota 2 is a highly strategic multiplayer online battle arena, MOBA. With a reputation for its challenging mechanics, but if you spend any time with it, you'll see why people have invested years into this game. Like most MOBA, Dota 2 pits two teams of five against each other on a map divided up by three lanes. The first team to destroy a key structure in the enemy's base called an Ancient Winds Hence. The name, Defense of the Ancients. The growing list of over 100 heroes and plenty of item combinations to go with them makes each match unique. Dota 2 can be frustrating at times, like with any living multiplayer game, but those narrow or even crushing wins make it worth it. Number 3. Path of Exile Path of Exile is hands down the best action roleplay game, ARPG, on the market in terms of post-launch support. Developer Grinding Gear Games has candidly raised the bar for the genre. The most recent content update called Legion is Path of Exile's 10th expansion. The span of unique and replayable content at this point is absolutely massive with depth to match when it comes to character progression and loot. What's more, all of this great content is free. Its monetization system is more altruistic and less intrusive. If you're looking for an ARPG with hundreds of hours of unique gameplay, with no signs of slowing down its post-launch support in the near future, then look no further than Path of Exile. Number 4. Undefeated Undefeated is a simple open-world superhero game that packs a punch and is a ton of fun. The goal of this game is straightforward play over the open-world city and usual superpowers to protect the citizens against epic bosses. While that sounds like a familiar concept, Undefeated decided to follow the trends of a nerfed superhero. Instead, your superhero is ridiculously powerful and everything you do is flashy and epic. Now crazily enough, this game is made by a single Japanese game student and it's amazing how well he's captured the feeling of being an epic superhero, so make sure to go and check out this game if you're interested. Number 5. War Thunder Want to relive World War II and Cold War era? You can check out War Thunder. It is the most comprehensive free-to-play cross-platform MMO military game dedicated to aviation, armored vehicles, and naval craft from World War II and the Cold War. In War Thunder, aircraft attacks helicopters, ground forces, and naval ships collaborate in realistic competitive battles. You can choose from over 1,700 vehicles and an extensive variety of combat situations, many of which are exclusive. You can find yourself blasting your pursuers from a bomber turret, defending your teammates on the ground from an air raid with anti-aircraft guns, shooting down enemy planes with a firestorm from multiple rocket launchers, or trying to sink an enemy warship with a torpedo from a fast attack boat. It is very easy to control, but it still has the pseudo historical kind of background to it. Number 6. Paladins Paladins takes place in a sci-fi fantasy world. 
There are elements of both fantasy and science fiction, including medieval-looking soldiers who use ranged weapons such as shotguns and assault rifles instead of swords. Paladins is more than a little similar to Overwatch, but it does some interesting things of its own. What's unique about Paladins is that it incorporates a card deck system for your champions that grants amplified attributes and enhanced or modified skills that allows you to build towards a specific playstyle. All cards are free to use for all champions, which opens up customization to a higher degree. There are three major game modes. Siege, Capture of the Objective and Push the Playload, Death Match, which is a 5 vs 5, and Onslaught. Number 7. Iron Sight. The free-to-play Call of Duty like the first-person shooter, simply Iron Sight is an FPS that wears its Call of Duty influences on its sleeve, and it pulls it off fairly well. Fast-paced action, a large array of weapons, and an in-depth crater class system are solid pillars in this game, and in conjunction with a decent amount of content and rank progression. It's easy to sink in a ton of hours, on top of all of this lack of paid win and easing nature of unlocked weapons keeps things fresh without needing money, so this game has longevity and fairness which is a big plus. Number 8. Darwin Project, which is part survival game in part battery, out a new twist on the battery out genre. The concept is simple. 10 players are dropped into the match and have to survive the cold and fight to death. However, there's a spicy twist where spectators can affect the battle by giving players powers very much akin to the hunger. There is no looting. You only have a bow and axe as your weapons. Instead, the focus is on crafting where you can craft traps and arrows along with upgrading your abilities. And this results in a more skillful and tactful battery out. This game has been out for quite a while, but recently it went into full release and the player base has spiked and had a big resurgence. So now is the perfect opportunity to go and hop in and try it if you haven't. Number 9. Smite. Most MOBA are isometric point and click, but Smite is actually unique in that it's played in third person gods. The roster of player characters Idites, immortals, and mythical creatures from ancient mythology from all over the world. You can play as Medusa Raw or even Cupid if you want. The classic game of Smite is a 5 versus 5, but there are other game modes with different rules and objectives that you can choose from. My personal favorite is Joust, a 3 versus 3 mode that's on one on one lane map with the goal of destroying the enemy's defenses in their Titan Joust along with a few others. Game modes usually last about 15 minutes, which makes it super fun and easy to hop into a match without worrying about spending half an hour in one game. Smite is a fresh take on MOBA and is beginner friendly to players who might be unfamiliar with the genre. In June 2012, some Hindu leaders became upset of the inclusion of several Hindu gods in Smite and the fact that they are player controlled. The deities included were Agni, Vamana, and Kali. Number 10. Counter Strike Global Offensive. It's been tactically infiltrating our screens for nearly a decade now, with the original 1.6 version arriving way back in 2000. The revamp brought a fresh new look and set the game on the path to being one of the most popular games on Steam, and well, a huge success in the wider world of esports. CSGO isn't all that different from its predecessors. As usual, you and a group of other players will take on the role of terrorists, or counter-terrorists and face off against the enemy team by defusing bombs, killing or protecting hostages, or simply eliminating all hostages. If you've never played before, it won't take much to get acquainted. Just pick a side, complete objectives, and of course try to stay alive while playing against people with faster reactions. There are many welcome changes in GO, which includes larger player base, improved graphics, a wide variety of guns, and its many, many balancing changes most notably relating to weapon and movement physics. So this is it for this video on the top 10 free Steam games. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.